Teeth, George. Don't tell me. Uh, an Eskimo. No, my lord. Your butler. Norbert, eating outdoors in weather like this. Nonsense. Fresh air's a thing. And look at all this. Now, that beats room 323 in Trenchard House. Oh, I don't know. Trenchard wasn't so bad. The station houses went. Now, what makes you think it was murder? Just a hunch, George. Two faithful retainers disappear out there on the moors. Rumours of a strange wild bird. A look of terror and deep scratches on the face of a local girl found dead on Adam's tour. What did the inquest decide? Heart failure, possibly caused when confronted by a bird of prey protecting its young. Mm, or its nosh. All conjecture. Yeah. And why would anybody want to murder your servants, eh? That's what I want you to find out. You know, Norby, maybe they just up and left. I mean, no electricity, a four-mile walk to the nearest rubber dub, I nearly went AWOL myself this morning after only one night. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look up! Yes, look up! See your sick, your maker! Big balls! Gabriel Moses! Well, I'm weary for you. No STG investigations. Ah, oh, hello, George. How's life among the stately homes of old England? You're winding me up. No electricity. No, well, he's got it, Lucy. He's got electricity, but he only switches it on when he has house guests. But you're a house guest. No, I'm not. I'm the bleeding butler. There's just a little cross I have to bear. Now, look, this is what I want you to do. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, <laughs> dear. Are you going to the village? You've stalled her. Oh, come, Matt and Jeff. What? Are you going straight to the village? Yeah, uh, yeah, but it's not much space. Would you take spot? Spot? Hey. Oh. Woof, woof. She's got a touch of blue, but I don't want to tire her. Ah, all right then. Come on, spot. Come on then, spot. Pick up. Yeah. Aren't you coming too? How do I know where to let it off? Spot no. I'm obliged to you. Had 
dog doesn't seem to like me. So you're the new Mr. Shivers, are you? Yeah. How did you know I replaced him? Not much happens around here without everyone knowing. No, I suppose not. Uh, can I buy you a drink? No, thanks. I'm George Baker. I know. Huh. Bit bleak up at Child Compton, isn't it? Yeah, it's a funny business about Shivers and Mrs. Merriweather, wasn't it? So his lordship told you? Well, he just said they'd been notified as missing persons, and I, I just assumed that they'd run off together, you know. Couldn't stand each other. Where is Adam's tour? Oh, it's just between here and the big house. But most people give it a wide berth. Why is that? It's a strange part of the world, this piece of Cumberland. There are wild cats. And a family of wild eagles that went astray from a castle when it belonged to the Percys. Later, it was burned down to the ground by Hector Douglas. When was that? 1530. In the afternoon? <laughs> Anna Domini. Oh, I see. I, don't tell me it's like Sicily and Ireland round here where families have long memories. Just recently, a local girl was found dead on the side of the hill. Yeah, I heard about that. She had scratch marks down her face. Scratch marks? God, it was a lot worse than that. So it's unlikely that Shivers walked back over Adam's tour that last night. Stick to the beaten track is my motto. Yep. Um, they, uh, uh, big are they, these, uh, these Percy Eagles? Bigger than average. Bigger than, say, uh, a rooster? Bigger than a chicken. Oh. <laughs> Child Compton 905, arrive Penrith 930, change. 1045 Preston, change. Crew at 1145. London Houston, 1359. Hmm. What do you mean you left the tractor? I walked back, my lord, deep in conversations over. <laughs> over certain matters. The tractor receded into the periphery of my conscious state. You mean you forgot it? Right. I'll get that, my lord. <clears throat> Child Compton. Wait, who wants him? Wait. For you. Thank you, my lord. A thousand blessings on your noble head. Don't. Oh, Lucy. Samuel Denison Shivers was indeed born on the date you gave in Lincoln. Agnes Merriweather is oblique, was also a bona fide entry into this world on the date given. Neither is recorded as having croaked it. Not under those names, and not in England, anyway. Yes, but Scotland's only a few miles to the north, as the family Percy found to their cost in the year 1530. I suppose their castle was raised to the ground by marauding border hoodlums. Bleeding no all. But what was released in the fracas to become wild and breed around Adam's tour, even to this day? A haggis. Eagles, you twit. Now, a spot of the old research, please reference the Percy Eagle. Uh, contact the old bird at the Royal of the, the, you know, the Bird Society. OK. Any house guests in the offing? This weekend. Well, try not to freeze till then. Be touch and bleeding go. Just think of the fee. Bye-bye. Come along, girl. Still plenty of work to be done. Mistress Merriweather was my superior. Not oh, Mr Shivers, you know. I think we need to keep an eye on that butler. Jake, you worry too much. Spot didn't reckon he was on the level. <laughs> Talking to our dogs now, are we? Spot's a shrewd judge of character, my girl. I'm not your girl. Anyway, he's having a house party this weekend. So? Well, that'll keep him busy if he's troubled. You've got an order. 
from Zürich. It's money in the bank. Don't let's be too greedy. Remember the goose that laid the golden egg? <laughs> Come here. Percy's eagle? There must be a more scientific name. Well, essentially, they're falcons. Falconoformes. That. That's all right. I like little Richard. Try living with it for two years. He'll drive you crazy. Let's take a look. Falconoformes. Family Accipitridae. Ah, oh, here we are. Eagle, golden, Aquila chrysetos. Peregrine. That shouldn't be there. Sea eagle, Haleitus albicilla. Oh, excellent. Aquila perkii. So they do exist. If the file says so, look. Rare, almost extinct breed of greater eagle, commonly known as the Percy eagle. Date from the 12th century. Mentioned by Wace and the Venerable Reed. Mm. Also sketched by Chaucer on two separate crusades to the Holy Land. Also made memorable by the famous musical comedian Willie Thompson in the 1890s, when a pair of tame Percy's used to swoop through the auditorium and land on various people's heads. Sic transit gloria falconorum. They're now a protected species. And where are they to be found? Strictly for bird watching, I trust. Why, of course. There's only one colony known to survive in Cumberland, near the old Percy Castle. Ah. Give me string a copper, Norbert. George, my name is Edward, as you very well know. Oh, this isn't a generator. It's Stevenson's bleeding rocket. <laughs> You'll always be Norbert to me, Eddie. Whatever happened to that stunning bird with the blonde hair? What, uh, Vanessa? Oh, Vanessa. Oh, yeah, she's a DS with the brass now. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, don't you freeze up there. George, your blood's thinning. Oh. Yeah, I'm surprised she never got married. Oh, she did. She married an Argentinian polo player. Got killed in the Falklands War. Oh, sorry to hear that. Come on, George, you're on the handle. Oh, right. You know what you're doing, do you? Oh, of course. The pilot, was it? No, no, the banker. Got Brahms on the day when he captured South Georgia. Fell under an horse. Oh, why couldn't I have been a weekend guest up for the bracing air? Wouldn't confide in you. They don't. Oh. Come on, George, bit of welly. Here we go. Uh -huh. Yes, we have lift off. Oh. Electric light, radiators, hot bath. No, I know, Mr. Job. I was a lousy PC, and you know it. <laughs> we had some laughs, though, didn't we? What are you doing? Trial run. What? Well, we don't want our weekend guests to freeze, do we? Norbert! Norby! Ow! Some shivers I've more or less tied down to the last sighting, mm -hmm. but... This is Merriweather, it's still a bleeding mystery. So you think he's lying under some bog out there? Oh, dead in the bracken. No bother in them birds. Birds? What birds? You know, Percy Eagle. Oh, bless you, George. Percy Eagle don't pack humans. Oh, no? What about that girl found dead on Adam's tour? Oh, uh, maybe a wildcat. Certainly not a Percy Eagle. Not a chance. Are you sure? George, I was brought up with those birds. I pull up Perky I like people. <laughs> Miss McGinty. Miss. 
Royal Ornithological Sock? Society. Can I come in? I suppose so. Mean place. Very light. Must have some good times here. Very droll. I didn't catch your name or why you're here. Did I leave something? A lingering scent of Parisian perfume. French, I dare say. It's called Carbolic. How did you find me? You gave Lady Macbeth a card. I'm Art Mason, and you're a private dick. Am I right? Got it in one. What can I do for you? You're not the only inquiry we've had concerning Aquila Perkei. Would you like a drink? Now you're talking my language. I get a call from a Cumberland payphone. And this anonymous Cumbrian wanted to know the price of a Percy Eagle in the open market. It was a weird request. There's no open market for rare wild birds. It's all very much a black market. Big money? Healthy pair of breeding eagles. Varies according to scarcity and size. But I understand a kilo per kitty would fetch as much as ten grand each. You are a clever boy, Mr. Mason. Mm-hmm. What are you doing typing in that place? I like birds. Do you know? For instance, I know this rock and roll club. Maybe after work, you and me could... Uh... Oh, that's very kind of you, but after work, I plan to retire, age 60 or thereabouts. Full-time occupation, eh? That's it. Is there a Mr McGinty? No. Certainly not. Excuse me. STG. George. I think we've got an angle. Goodbye, Miss McGinty. Excellent work. I'm beginning to see um, a pattern in this particular puzzle. It may well be that we do have a murder to investigate after all. Lucy, I'm going to need you up here soon. So I'll get Norby to invite you as a weekend guest. So, <laughs> so no nicking the spoons. George Kitchener Bowman, are you telling me that wasn't the first thing you checked? Of course I asked. His lordship said no. All reason speaks against it. Yet. All my healthy instincts cry, yes. George, I'll call you back, OK? Bye. No see. Bless you, Luther. I don't see any photos of Elvis. Lucy, this whole thing is a joke. We all come here because we like rock and roll and we enjoy a joke. That's why I dress like I do. But the king is above all this. We've got a special room for him. Upstairs. It's beautiful. I think you're rather more into John Belushi. Who's John Belushi? So, tell me about being a detective. Hey! 
Wer ist das? Ach, das ist nur ein Butler. Sorry, you're at your dinner. Oh, I'll grab it when I can. Shame, be quiet with you. I want to apply for a shotgun license. Come in. Right. You live locally, do you? Yeah, I'm the new butler. I'm a child Compton. Yeah. The big house? Yeah. Right. Shotgun, shotgun. Here we are. Try not to encourage people to keep shotguns. Quite right, too. You'll have to get it signed by a character witness. Will the Earl of Kilmartin do? <clears throat> Reagan. What happened to the last butler? <laughs> Shivers? Yeah. <laughs> so it's me. We notified Carlisle and Newcastle. Put it on the uh, National Missing Persons computer, plus the kook. Oh, yeah, Mrs Merriweather. Now, uh, did she disappear at the same time? About three months apart. Oh, yeah, and you searched the moors, yeah. Oh, I have it out there. They could have gone into a bog. Both of them. That's a bit strange, isn't it? We've had some right thick fogs these past few months. Oh, yeah. And then there's them eagles up at Adam's Tor. Quite right. Bloody fierce beasts, these are. Can't stand people, I hear. Go for them. Killed a young girl only recently. Local lass. Best stay well clear. Ah. Stay clear of Adam's Tor, eh? I would. Nobody wants their eyes ripped out now, do they? Oh, no. No, definitely not. Oh, um, can't remember the name of the, the coroner, can you? Ibbotson, why? Never know when you might need one. <laughs> I can dig being a private eye. Oh, can you now? Chivers and Merriweather. Maybe there is a connection. Maybe they were already married. They hated each other. Why would two people carry on working together for all these years if they didn't get on? Come on. It's just some marriages are like that. Partnerships. Right, money, loyalty to their employer. That's two good reasons. You did check the marriage registry all the way back to when they would have been an age to get married. You know, any time from when they were about 18. No. Well, if I was a private dick, that's what I'd do. Well, it's highly unlikely. Just to eliminate the possibility. I'll do it in the morning. Right over, we're going to be for start here now then. 700, 600, then I'll take anywhere for start. Five bid. At 500 again this time in the morning, 5 at 10, 5 10 at 20, 5 30, 5 40 bit again at 50, 5 50. It'll not reach 600. 5 pounds says 650. 650 anymore this time, you're out there. Dr. Ibsen, that's me. Oh, uh, I need to get Chief Inspector George Bullman retired. Currently employed as an investigator in the private sector. Don't you? Yeah. You're not employed by his wife, eh? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't handle it. How can I help you? You are the county coroner. For me, sir. Yeah. Do you recall the case of the girl who was found dead on Adam's tour near Compton Village? Yes, I recall the case of verdict of death by misadventure. Yeah, I'm particularly interested in the scratch marks. Scratch marks? Bloody great gouges. Furrows deep into the facial flesh. Yeah, uh, caused by... Uh... Professor Mackey carried out the autopsy. Caused by four strong talons. I found traces of mouse fur and tree bark in the wounds. Could it have been a wildcat? Not a chance. Cats have five claws. When spread for killing, they make a pattern like this. Four parallel gashes. <clears throat> Six sets. And the eagle's four talons are in a very easily recognisable pattern. Like this. Uh, Six sets. Would that be uh, three for each leg? Strangely, no. It was only the right foot. Probably holding on to a jacket with the left foot to give it purchase. Yeah, but that wasn't the cause of death. Heavens, no. The girl died of fright. Hmm. Just one set of claws. 
They're very ferocious, these kind of birds, you know. Yeah, without being impertinent, Doctor, are you familiar with Aquilae Perkii? Actually, no, but we had local evidence. Do you mind if I ask from him? See, why not? A local chief farmer, name of Stevenson. And the local policeman. He took down his accept of Levin. Oh, yeah, of course. Why not? <sighs> Terrible death. These birds should be put down. Protected species, indeed. Uh, wonderful hunters, though. Hey, what if I was to prove to you that the Percy Eagle is an amiable bird? I'd reopen the inquest. I'm very glad to hear that. Thank you, gents. Five pounds says we haven't seen the last of him. Not bad. But they must first be tamed. He says they have to be tamed first. Of course. Tell him I've trained a similar pair to hunt myself. He has trained for his jagen. 12,000 and a half of them. 12,000 pounds for the pair. 20,000. 10,000 each or tell him to catch them himself. 20.000, 10.000 a stück oder sie können sie selber fangen? Nein, 15.000. Maximum. 15.000, take it or leave it. 18,000. 18.000. 17.000 in alten Banknoten and ist alles, was ich habe. 17.000 in used banknotes. That's all he's got, he says. Ask him why the gun. Because, my dear sir, I do not trust you. Now, if she'd left it all spotless, Mr. Baker, I'd have said, Agnes Merriweather, you've just walked out on us. Mm. Done a run, eh? Correct. Oh, but the mess she left behind. Breakfast and lunch dishes, silver tarnish, plus a sewing box, and a dressing table full of odds and ends. A photo of us all at the hunt dinner. All in our costumes. Like something out of Queen Victoria's times. But his lordship said there were no photos of her. Not recent ones, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what would he know? <laughs> Shh. Mrs. Faraday, the menu. I'm doing two legs of lamb with eggs benedict to start. A melon water ice between courses. Some game consomme. And your lordship's favourite to finish. Champion. Ladies. We would never know that Mrs. Merriweather had gone. May we know the names of the house guests, my lord? Peg. No, 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 no. It's Lord Millport and his wife, Lady Nancy. I met her in the house, and Duffy Millport was my tutor at Cambridge. Ah, yes, my lord. Now master of old college. How very prescient of you, Baker. And now for the ceremony of the silver. Silver, my lord? Yes, of course. We open up the silver room. Choose some pieces for the table, and little Peg here polishes like mad. And then you and I perform the other house guest ceremony. Huh? The electricity. Indeed. <laughs> After Shivers and Merriweather disappear? Well, of course not. There's only this key. Go, on, Bennett! It all seems to be here. Um, and you're sure that nothing's been nicked? George, the reason I'm coughing up an exorbitant 300 pounds a day for a maximum of 10 days is because, poor copper though I was, that instinct for crimes committed and unpunished remains untarnished. And right now it's so tangible. And I don't mean theft. I mean murder. 
To tell you the truth, my ear gets hot. This one. Oh. With me, it's my knee. You weren't that bad a copper, Norby. They had you marked down for Bramsill, you know. Really? Well, when Father died, that was that. Detective Constable Lord Child Compton became the 17th Earl of Kilmartin. And here we are. It's just bleeding gentry. No, oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, in about 44,000 acres. That uh, includes eight shooting syndicates rented out to Cunard, IBM and Plessy. Five stretches of very, very good salmon river. Eleven farms. Oh, must bring in about 800 a year. 800 pounds. Thousand, George. 800,000. Tax is an absolute nightmare. Ah, you poor thing. God and all his angels guard your celestial valley, Doug. It's for you! Hello. This is Mr. Mason. Have you got time to do some sleuthing? For sure. Okay, here's where to meet me. Let there be light and hot baths, central heating. And if you get properly dressed, we'll just make it to the station. What for? To pick up our house guests. In a tractor? No, oh, no, old boy. Jumping Geronimo. Oh. We may have to hand crank it. Do what? The Rolls Royce. You know. I hate you, Norbert. Maybe you should take the shades off. Did I tell you how to drive the car? That argument borders on zen. And did I find our loving couple? Possible's possible couple. Voters register. Shiver, Samuel Dennison, Agnes, etc. Well, we'll see. Have you come about the ad? We're looking for a Mr. and Mrs. Shivers. Who wants them? Lord Kilmartin's been most concerned about you. Well, you can tell him we're fine. You see, you're Mormon. I see. I understand they called you Norbert in the police force. Oh, Duffy. Scurrilous rumour. I'll get Bullman, uh, that is, uh, Baker, to take the bags. Baker! So you did issue a ticket that night? Aye. Yes, there were two to Glasgow and one to Crewe. Baker! Um, but I wasn't on duty, so I don't know who sold it. Yep, right, thanks, mate. <clears throat> Coming, my lord! I was in the pub one night, and
and I was starting to trudge the four miles back to Charles Compton. His lordship wouldn't let Sam drive one of his motors. It was a rotten night, raining. Samuel gave me some chivers, so he said to himself, what in the name of God are you doing with your life? So you just turned and made for the railway station? Weren't you terribly worried? Silly old fool. I thought he'd gone and fallen into a bog. Or oh, gotten attacked by one of them birds. Then he wrote to me and said, Aggie, wait till I get fixed up with a job and you'll save a few months' pay, which I did. He's got a concession for paraffin eaters. We've always had this little flat. Edge against inflation. Everyone thought you hated each other. We had our ups and downs. Plus, their lordship paid less to married couples. And you had separate rooms. Most of the time. Well, we live and learn. Why paraffin heaters? Have you been up to Charles Compton? Not yet. <laughs> Why do you think he's got a gun? He seems to think we'll take the money and forget about the birds. Uh, and what about the snoopers? They'll get what the girl got. Left, turn left. Baker. Left, Baker. Baker, we turn left. Baker, we want to go left. Baker, you're fired! Do you speak, my lord? Oh, uh, very melodious, my lord and lady. I believe you rang, my lord. Rang? Oh, yes. At what time is my other weekend guest expected? Oh, uh, any time now, my lord. Hope we're not kept waiting. After all, as Pliny once said, carpe diem, quam minimum, credulum barbo posturo. <coughs> uh, if I may correct you, sir, it was in fact that arch poor Horace, and uh, I don't believe he couched the illusion in the subjunctive. Uh, not now, Baker. Been to night school, Duffy. Open University, actually, Your Eminence. Ah, it clamor. Et agmine facto quadrupedente putrum sonitu quartet ungala campum. Excuse me. Angular, very bloody campum, if you ask me. Ah, Lucy, you made it. Why shouldn't I? George, this is a friend of mine. Art Mason, George Bowman. I'm sorry, should I call you Baker? No, George will do. I suppose I better call you Baker. Yes, uh, Mr. Baker. Art had the brilliant idea that Samuel and Agnes were married 30 years ago, so it was he who discovered that they're really Mr. and Mrs. Shivers. Well, he did. You did. Art's with the Royal Ornithological Society, so he has a bona fide reason for coming up here. Oh, uh, researcher. Typist. He's very keen on rock and roll. Oh, makes no odds. The house is full of nutters already. Oh, um, tell me about the shivers. Oh, to each other, my sister and brother, but somehow they feel all alone. They miss those two birds. Seem very 
very surprised. After ten days in this stately heap, I am not surprised. Oh, I had a word with the booking clerk, a British rail. I figured maybe Shivers took a train out of here. I just, uh, just on impulse. Oh, George, after all our hard work. Mm. Ah, but, uh, you found them. Art did. Yeah, what, um, what's the score with him? I mean, uh, is he blind or what? No, he's demented. Oh. Well, let's go and tell Norbert. So there wasn't a murder after all? Oh, uh, I think perhaps there was. Mm. Oi! Take your bags up to the first floor. Turn left. Your room is first on the left. Lucy's is at the far end. Last door on the right. And the floor squeaks. What? Dan. No, 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 this is... Oh, come on, Squid. You've got to keep up with the young. I've got it. Oh, Dan. Norbert. Did anyone ring? On the subject of murder, my lord. Well, Lucy here says that they're alive and well. And living in Mad Bliss, according to Mr. Mason here, right, Art? Wait, Chortles. Now, the local girl, attacked by that bleeding chicken in the Baskervilles. Yes. The inquest relied on information supplied by one Jake Stevenson, sheep farmer, and the local PC, both of whom we have observed, my lord, proceeding towards the scene of alleged crime together with the landlady of the local boozer and some cove with a Zurich registration range rover. Name of... Hoffman. I hear you, George. And we do have in your barn, my lord, the means to verify one way or another if their purpose is innocent. Uh, would it be possible to have a cup of tea? Oh, shut up, Duffy. Oh, I give up. You must have natural rhythm in you, Art. George Kitchener Bullman, you are worth every penny of 300 a day. Most gratifying, my lord. George, can we lay on the law at such short notice? Now, the law in these parts may not be above reproach. So, it's down to us. <gasps> Yippee, a pussy! George, Art and me, just the three of us. Four. Five and six with Duffy. He's a demon with a 12 ball. What will we be shooting? People! Oh, capital. I say, will your blind friend be coming? Oh. About 20 feet over there, eh? Aquila Perkei.
Come on, let's get out of here. Come on! Ship's plane and that damn butler. I told you he was trouble. But you just drive, will you? You English play and everything. Well, this is not a game. Hawkeye, descending from angels. Vector 180. I say, steady on, Chortles. Right! Got him! Right! Out! Come on. Give that to me. I told you we were too greedy. A weapon. The chicken of the Baskervilles. 